Hey everyone, Rodev here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to create a simulator inside Roblox Studio. So, uh, this is part two. If you haven't watched part one, go ahead and watch it. And you should have cash and strength, you should have a weight that gives you strength, and uh, that should be what you have so far from part one. So, in this video, we're going to be saving the looter stats and creating some UI. And um, basically, right now, the looter stats don't save. So, if I leave and I load back into the game, I'm not going to have 20 strength. As you can see, I'm back to zero. And we want to make sure that saves. So, for that, go to your looter stat script click plus and insert a script and usually you don't put a script inside a script but this time uh, it looks it doesn't look cleaner but you know it's more organized so we're gonna type save stats as the name the name doesn't matter obviously but it just helps us organize our workspace by the way if you don't have an explorer and you don't have properties go to view and make sure you turn them both on over here and basically inside save stats I have a script for you guys so go to the go to the description and copy and paste the script the link will take you for uh, you know to look at some ads and go ahead and click skip on the top right and you should be brought to the script from there you want to paste in the script and you don't really have to change anything uh one thing you guys do need to make sure you have on is go to game settings make sure you're under home then go to game settings go to security and make sure you have studio access to api services enabled or else the game will not save because uh studio won't have access to data store service which is basically the service we use to save data so go ahead and turn it on and click save i just turned it off and i'm going to turn it on and click save from there, if I hit play, I'm in, and if I get some strength real quick, remember we do have that one second cooldown, I'm spam clicking right now. So I have 25 strength, if I leave, and I join back, as you can see, I still have my 25 strength. If I have 30 strength, I leave, and I join back, as you can see, I have 30 strength. So, that is the leader stats that are saving. We'll, do, we'll be doing um, a cell part, which will also save your cash. By the way, the script will save every stat, and you don't need to change anything. Uh, the cell part will be done next uh, episode. So now we're going to be doing UI. By the way, this UI is completely free modeled. I just tweaked it. I tweaked the script. Uh, I did a bunch of changes, removed a bunch of it, moved it around, fixed up the script. Um, but other than that, the UI is made by someone else. And I don't know if they made it and they just uploaded it for free. But I got it from the toolbox, if, uh, and I can actually show you guys right here. This is the guy who uploaded it, this is the UI, and basically I just tweaked it. So if I'm going to go ahead and click enabled. By the way, the UI is in the description, it'll be the second link, it is a model. Just go ahead and download it, put it into your game. For that, by the way, just go to toolbox, and then uh, click on this one, and it'll be right there. Um, yeah, you just need to make sure you get the model from um, the Roblox website. So once you have this UI in, uh, it's not fully scripted. We do need to do some scripts, so inside this uh, label one right here, you need to insert a new text label. And basically, the label won't look like this. Uh, you'll first of all need to set the background transparency to 1, and then make sure border size pixel is 0. Then go down and set the font to anything you like. I'm going to be using Gotham Bold. And make sure you set the uh, text scale to true. And then you can go ahead and place your UI by resizing it. Also, um, the UI won't uh, work on everyone's device as of now. So for that, just go ahead and type insize 1, 0, 1, 0. And it'll be, uh, you know, it'll get resized, but just go ahead and size it now. Because now the uh, UI is completely scaled and it'll work on everyone's device. As you can see, if I go to another device, it goes smaller. Um, if we don't do that, it'll basically stay the same size and that won't be good. It'll be, you know, covering the whole screen on an iPhone 4 and uh, the player won't be able to see anything and obviously we don't want that so once you have this text done um, you know go ahead and position it the way you want it I'm actually going to go down and change uh, this setting right here uh, text X alignment to uh, right actually no left and that will basically keep it on the left and the numbers will pop up so from there uh, we can just make it you know some random numbers I'm going to keep it like that and that's going to show your strength. Uh, also, if you want to change the text color, go down in the properties and make sure you can make sure you change the text color three right here. Make it white. And uh, after that, we can create a local script. So in here, type local player equals game. That player is local player. And under there, we can type local leader stats equals player colon wafer child leader stats. And then from there, what we can do is local. Um, I'm going to make it easy to copy paste the script after. So value equals strength. And instead of value, I'm just going to call it name. 
And basically what we can do is um, leader stats, colon, wait for child, name, and uh, just local s equals. So go ahead and copy the script the same way I'm doing it. And then from there we can do s.change, colon, connect function. And then we can do script dot parent dot text equals s dot value so this will basically set the text to the value of your strength uh if that doesn't make sense don't worry about it it'll work and uh right before that we do need to actually paste this line of code in again so that it works you know uh when you first load into the game so as you can see now once i load in the text will display there you go it displays my 30 strength and uh it'll update when you get more strength and we also need to do that for the cache. There's a little click symbol right now, so uh, for, for you guys, it won't be there. I'm just gonna change it for uh, the UI right now. Uh, so basically what I did is I duplicate, uh, I basically just insert a text label. Right now I'm gonna duplicate it, put it in, and change the emoji to probably some cache. Uh, maybe something like that. I think that looks good. Oh, it doesn't. We'll use that. So uh, now the UI is basically complete. We just need to paste the script in. So go ahead and copy that script. Actually copy the text label and then right click the uh, label and click paste into and the text label will be there. So from there, you don't really need to change anything. If you want, you can make it, you know, dollar sign one, two, three. And inside the script, we, need, we do need to change a few things. So change your strength to cash. And by the way, if, if you don't have strength and you have something else, Go to leader stats and copy this one right here. Don't copy this one. This one is for this script only. This one is for every script to see. So make sure you copy this and paste it in um, right here in that script. So for leader stats, uh, don't need to do anything. Uh, the cache will work. And basically we just wanted to say a dollar sign. So for that we can type um, two um, speech marks, put in a dollar sign, put dot dot right there. Go, to, go ahead and copy this, paste it up here. And there we go, the script should look like this. After that, uh, what we can do is hit play, and the uh, both values, both text labels will display. So as you see, when I give myself strength, I get strength. And if I go ahead and give myself some cash real quick, so you don't need to do this. If you do want to do it, you can copy what I did. As you see now, I have 123. And if I leave the game, it'll also save that, just uh, to show you guys that all your stats will save. So I'll have 123. So basically that is the simulator so far. We have the text labels working. We have the saving leader stats working. Other than that, make sure you uh, like and subscribe to the channel. By the way, the UI does animate, it's pretty cool. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.